Ollie, what's the plan? What are you thinking? So I'm going to roast the pineapple. I'm going to just finish it with a bit of lime zest, put a little bit of lime juice in there. They're all just fantastic flavours to go with pineapple. Our final batch of chefs. Marcus, you've got some beautiful things on that bench. What are you going to get them to make? I'd like our chefs to cook a dessert of caramelised pineapple with a caramelised nut garnish. The key here the, is the preparation of the pineapple, the colouring of the pineapple, and then the making of a caramel. Beautiful, caramel, sticky pineapple in 20 minutes. Come on, chef. Let's do it. So we're going to start off with our caramel first. Granulated sugar. You're going to need a fair bit of caramel because you want the pineapple eventually to sit into the caramel and just bubble and cook around it. And we're just going to add some glucose. Just stops it from crystallising. And then I'm going to put a little touch of water. This is a standard caramel any recipe, yep. right? Yep. Pineapple. So I've cut a nice wedge of the pineapple. You've got to be patient. You'll take out these little eyes. Not great to eat. If you take them with the skin, you take too much flesh away. That's right. OK. So we're back to the sugar. This is a dry caramel. And you'll see it'll start to colour. We've got 20 minutes, so I'm getting the colourisation underway. And then, once it goes into this pan of caramel, it'll start to suck up all that lovely flavour. Cinnamon. Mm. Star anise. Vanilla, look at that. Mm. I'll throw in some mint. Just to calm the caramel down, just incorporate a little bit of butter. This is really one where the chef has got to focus on the cooking of the caramel. If they walk away while it's caramelising, it will catch and burn. Some rum. So you can start to see the whole dish come to life. We are getting seriously tropical with this stuff now. Just got to keep moving this around. You've got lots of butter in this pan. You baste it like it is a piece of meat. I'm trying to give it that roasted effect. You can see, literally just changing colour. Yeah, it's stunning. So my caramel is starting to change. I'm just looking for a beautiful golden brown colour. Greg, come and have a look. It's turning colour really, really quickly. quickly. Very quickly. Yep. Pineapple into there. Oh! Black flavour adding in there as well. As I start to shake it, it all starts to aerate. The caramel's really working hard now to get absorbed into that beautiful pineapple. Oh, mate. If you just leave it, it will burn. Leave it too long, all of the water will come out of the pineapple and dilute the caramel. So now it's all about the chef's experience. Right. OK. What you end up with is almost like a toffee. And that is smelling fantastic. Mm. I'm just going to make a little toasted nut garnish just to go on the top. I'm just going to put a little bit of honey. They could get a little creative with this, couldn't they? If they yeah. got the skill, we could get a bit of sugar work. Who knows? Yeah. Take our pineapple out. That is beautiful. I'm just going to cut out the core. I'm going to take some of our nuts. The sauce. Finish it off some beautiful creme fraiche. And then just a little bit of grated lime over the top. There we have it, our caramelised pineapple and caramelised nuts. Sunshine on a plate. Certainly is. Look at that. Mmm. I'm doing a Greggy dance. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. You've got the warmth of rum, you've got the warmth of those spices, but you've got the sweet caramel, but the sweetness is nothing compared to the sweet honey juice pouring out of this pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely. What I'm looking for is the preparation of a pineapple and the skills of making caramel. 
and bringing this together and trying to incorporate caramel within the pineapple. Let's see what our chefs can do. I just want to see them recreate this beautiful tropical flavour combination. First to take on Marcus's skills test is 30-year-old Ollie, a head chef in a three rosette country house hotel in the Yorkshire Dales. I've been head chef for just short of four years now. I like to use a lot of native British ingredients, a lot of things that people have forgotten about. We cook quite old school, but we use a lot of modern techniques at the same time. Mega excited about MasterChef. I think if you're entering the competition, you want to be aiming to win it. I'm not interested in coming third. There's no point, is there? So, yeah, after that, I suppose it's up to the judges, isn't it? Ollie, welcome to MasterChef. This, of course, is a skills test. This particular one was set by Marcus. Caramelised pineapple dessert with a caramelised nut garnish. You're going to have 20 minutes. All right? Yeah. That sound OK? Absolutely. Off you go. Fantastic. So, Ollie, how are you feeling about this challenge? Pretty excited for it, actually. It's, um... Yeah, I was, I was glad it wasn't something I've never seen before or never heard of, to be honest. Had much experience working in pastry? Yeah, I have, actually, yeah, about two and a half years. And, yeah, I think you can use those skills throughout the rest of the kitchen as well, so... You've had five minutes, Ollie. Thank you so you've got 15 minutes left. That's brilliant. You seem really comfortable. Are you comfortable? Not really, no. <laughs> <laughs> Ollie, what's the plan? What are you thinking? So I'm going to roast the pineapple. And we'll just finish it with a bit of lime zest, put a little bit of lime juice in there. They're all just fantastic flavours to go with pineapple. I just made a small caramel here. I'm just going to make a granola to go with it as well. Five minutes, OK? OK. What are you up to now, Ollie? I'm going to put a tiny bit of salt onto him. Yeah, I've got some mint, some lime juice on there. All right, you should think about plating up soon, Ollie. Yeah, absolutely. I don't want you to run out of time, yeah? Come on. You've got about 30 seconds. What about the granola? Yeah, I've got that, yeah. You finished? Yeah. <laughs> you were bang on time. Well done, Ollie. Your attempt at my skill test was excellent. You've used nearly everything on the bench. A couple of points I will pick up on is the preparation of the pineapple for me was just a little bit haphazard and you really did cut a lot of the flesh off. And I think the dressing of it as well, I think you really rushed at the end and you sort of threw it all together. The uh, caramelised pineapple is wonderful. The fresh cream contracts with the sharpness. You also made some granola, nice selection of nuts in there. You seem very confident in your approach to this. I really like the sharp raw pineapple with the lime on it. That is proper zinging. You've done really well. <laughs> this did not phase you at all. You knew what you were doing here, Chef. Thank you very much. I love the mint running through the fresh pineapple. And you've got really nice textures and flavours. For your first time in the kitchen, I think it's an excellent start, Ollie. Ollie, these guys are happy. We're all happy. You should be happy. Keep it up. Thank you very much. We'll see you in the next round. Cheers. Thank you very much. <laughs>